Hi, my name's Ben Shear, and in addition to working as the sales manager here at Machinery Row Bicycles, I also manage our collection of about 150 uh, late 19th, early 20th century posters. While working here, I was studying uh, art history at the University of Wisconsin. Um, from there, I went on to study connoisseurship of early European art at the University of Glasgow and at Christie's Auction House in London as well. Um, so upon coming back, I've helped the business collect over 150 posters. Now, all of these posters are considered originals because they're made on a stone sheet that would be sanded down after the original poster was made so that you would have a single run of 200 or so posters made just to be glued up to walls around streets in Paris and, and elsewhere. Um, once they were used for about a week, they'd be torn down and thrown away. So every poster that exists today is something that was generally not actually up on a wall at any point. It was either saved by a printer or sold to a collector right away. And this is what remains. So today what we're gonna do is walk you through just a few of the highlights from the collection. And we're starting here with this wonderful poster uh, for Victor Bicycles made by American artist William H. Bradley. So uh, this poster really exemplifies uh, the American Art Nouveau style. Now Art Nouveau was uh, an extremely popular uh, artistic style used in advertising posters you know throughout the turn of the century but is most commonly seen in France, Germany, Italy and the Czech Republic. Bradley is one of the few American Art Nouveau masters and really considered by most to be the best. And what's interesting about this poster is it was that American artist uh, doing an advertisement for an American bicycle and one that was printed here in America as well. Uh, but the ad was made for a European consumer and you can see that in the left hand corner here uh, where the poster advertises uh, its, its Dutch importer. So what we're looking at is the Clément bicycle poster uh, designed by Arthur Foch right around 1900. And there's a few really exciting things about this work, uh, but primarily to me is that it's actually unsigned. Now there are a lot of unsigned bicycle posters um, on the market today. Uh, this is one of the few that through some very clever uh, connoisseurship work um, has actually been attributed directly to an artist. Now, Arthur Foch worked primarily in Toulouse, uh, but this poster was actually done in Paris and for a Parisian bicycle company. Now, Clément was a bicycle company that employed more poster artists than any other bicycle company in the world. Um, so you can, find, uh, you can find a Clément poster done by uh, nearly all of the top French poster artists through the turn of the century. Foch really exemplifies the French Art Nouveau movement in this poster as he uses sort of swirly, spandrelly lines that, that really mimic uh, vines or things you'd see in nature. You know, here we have um, an allegory for victory. It's, it's sort of the goddess Nike without her wings um, holding on to her Clément bicycle, uh, which she has presumably just won a race on. And we can tell it's an allegory of victory because she wears a laurel crown and, and holds a laurel trophy, which would have been the prizes. Now, as was the, uh, the norm with many Art Nouveau posters, the product itself that's being advertised was uh, almost an afterthought in the design itself. The idea is the overall beauty of the design is what's going to draw the viewer into looking at the poster and then it would emphasize the brand name itself, Clément, and that would actually be where the advertising was, was hitting. So this is Alphonse Mucha's Cycles Perfecta, printed in 1902. Uh, now, if, if Raphael um, is the embodiment of Renaissance, if, uh, if Claude Monet is the, the persona for Impressionism, Alphonse Mucha is that person for Art Nouveau. Uh, now, Mucha was a Czech artist, but he worked predominantly in Paris, and then at the end of his life actually moved to the US as well. 
and uh, he perfected more so than, than any artist the, the spandrelly sort of swirling of lines that, again, matched what you'd see in vines or in nature. Uh, and really in this poster, you know, perfected that Art Nouveau style. The other thing worth noting is if you can see between the R and the F on the Perfecta itself, it has the, the stamp of the République Française. And now that's uh, the stamp that approved it to actually be hung on the streets of Paris as advertising. So this exact poster was just one step away from being glued up to a Parisian wall. You know, again, much like the Clément poster we looked at before, the product itself really isn't all that important. In fact, it's, it's almost taken over by our, our bicycle rider. This poster is, is famous beyond just posters, beyond just bike advertisement. I mean, it's really seen as one of the best pieces of Art Nouveau that the world has to offer today. Um, and here it hangs at Machinery Row Bicycles. So our final stop on this little mini tour of our posters is with Leonetto Cappiello's poster for uh, La Sirene, uh, the bicycle tire. It was printed in about 1910. And now here Cappiello has completely revolutionized the way that posters are made. Gone is all the curvilinear linear lines of, uh, of the Art Nouveau, um, all the focus on the design rather than on the product. And Cappiello really zeroes in right on the product. And in this case, a bicycle tire. Uh, so he's taken that even one step farther by putting it against a pretty stark background so you can see exactly what that product is and then giving the tire kind of a nickname or a, or a slogan or a logo, in this case doing La Siren or the, the Siren or Sea Nymph Mermaid in this case, uh, so that the consumer associates that product with that logo or that nickname and that branding. It's something that totally changed the way that posters were made and he's had many, many people copy him uh, through the years and really even to this day. Capiello remains one of the most popular poster artists. So thanks for watching this little tour of some of the posters here at Machinery Row Bicycles. If you've got any questions at all about bike posters in general, what you've seen on this tape, or um, other posters that might be in our collection, feel free to contact me directly at ben.machineryrowbicycles at gmail.com and I can give you any information you're looking for. Thanks.